Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to use to do this. As you can see, to do this is one of the most highly rated task managers or to do list app and you can start off for completely free. It's quite easy to sign up, all you'll have to do is enter your email address by simply tapping on start for free in the top right hand corner you will be redirected to this page on which you can tap on continue with Google or you can sign in with Facebook or continue with Apple. That's all you'll have to do. And if you are looking to create, whether you want to create a to-do list to go to the grocery store or you want to plan out your next meeting, you can do this using the to-do this app. As you can see, all you'll have to do is simply add a task, break it into subtasks, and then you'll be able to move the tasks into projects. And you can also set reminders. So for example, if you have a high priority meeting or so on that you don't want to miss or that you don't want to delegate to the wrong person and you don't want them to come in short, you have time constraints, to do this is the perfect app or software to use. So once you are signed up, you'll be redirected to this page. But before even doing that, let me show you an example of one of their templates. For example, for a one-on-one -on -one meeting, let's tap on preview right here and you can see how it will look. So you can see right here the agenda and the breakdown of how the meeting will go start and continue and you can also see the action items and by the way they offer numerous templates that you can use all you'll have to do is simply tap on templates at the top then you'll select use template and that's it but before doing that let's go into to do this.com first thing you'll see once on to do this you'll see right here in the left hand menu option you'll see an inbox so you can simply go into your inbox and you will see a list of emails or so on that you can start reading or your projects. Then you'll tap on today and you'll see today's date right there and you'll see the task that you currently have on hand. And by the way, to create a task is quite easy. All you'll have to do is tap on add task. And from here you can add the task name. For example, make video. Then you could add the description right here. After adding the description, you can also set the due date right where you see today. So you will tap right there and you can set the due date, for example, tomorrow. And then you can also tap on priority. So if it is a high priority, you will simply tap on priority one. And by the way, if you are using the pro plan, you'll be able to set up reminders. And you can also tap on the three dots right here if you would like to include labels or if you would like to add extensions. And once you're finished, you'll tap on add tasks. So you'll tap right there to add tasks. And that's it. Another thing that you can also do, you can go over to the left and menu option again and you can select upcoming. And from here, you'll see upcoming tasks that you have. For example, the task that I just created a while ago, you can see that it is upcoming tomorrow. And by doing this, you'll be able to keep on track of your to-do list or your tasks that you have for the future. And you can also select home to go back. And another thing that you can also do is go over to the top right hand corner. By the way, if you would like to change the view, you can do that by tapping on the three dashes in the top right hand corner that says view. And then you will select layout. And from here, you could select board if you would prefer that form of layout as you can see right here. I think this looks more attractive. And you can also add sections if you want by tapping on add sections. So you could part it up and you can customize it to your liking. And also if you would like to share or add someone to a project, you can simply tap on share in the top right hand corner. And from here you will see invite from project and you could quickly enter the person's email address and then select invite. And that's how you'll be able to invite someone to a project. Once you have done that, you can close out of it. 
And another thing that I would also like you to do in the top right hand corner, again, you can add tasks and you can also tap on open productivity. And from here, you'll be able to set your goals. So you could tap on set your goals right here and you'll be able to set new goals. So you can scroll down and you can see, you can select the amount of daily tasks that you want, weekly tasks, and you'll select your days off and you can also to go on vacation mode and a lot of things are available in the settings section as you can see right here you have the account section you can also tap on general and you can choose the language and as i said earlier you can also change the view so let's say you want to change the view from today to upcoming you can also do that and you can also set the time and date format as you can see right here and by the way, you can select advanced and after selecting advanced, you will see auto accept project invites. So if you want to keep that on, you can keep that on. You can also change the theme. So if you would like to use the dark theme, you can simply tap on dark theme. As you can see right there, the theme has changed and the original theme was this one right here. Or you can toggle on auto dark theme. You can also edit the sidebar. So if you don't want the inbox to be in the sidebar, you could quickly untick it right there. And you can also tap on quick add. So you can add any one of these features and you can also edit productivity. So there are numerous editing options that you can use. And by the way, at the bottom right here, you can also select backups. Backups is very important, especially if you are using to do this, for example, as a freelancer or so on to keep track. This is very important as you can back up your work because you never know what may happen. So you could select backups and you could upgrade and get it so you can start backing up. And you can also select integrations right here if you would like to add other apps or so on. For example, you can add Google Calendar and you can also add Apple Calendar and you can also add Outlook as you can see right there. So these are some of the features of to do this. There are a few other features, but what I would recommend you do is sign up to to do this. And while using the app, you will get the hang of the hidden features. There are not a lot of hidden features. Otherwise, as I've gone through majority of the main features on how to use to do this. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Otherwise, as I've gone through majority of the main features on how to use to do this. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.